Episode one of the Positive Performance Podcast is finally here. In this first episode, I'm so excited to share the vision that I have for this podcast and for the listeners. I'm excited to share the why of why I am so passionate about sharing this information with you. I'm also going to be digging into the various topics that I'm going to be going over in all of these episodes, as well as the delivery of how I'm going to be delivering this information to you. So I'm excited for you to join me on this journey. I'm excited this first episode is finally here, and I'll see you inside on the first episode. Welcome to episode one of the Positive Performance Podcast. My name is Joe and I'm the Positive Veteran and I'm so excited that the day is finally here. This podcast has been a long time in the making and today I'm excited to talk about the vision that I have for this podcast and for the viewers and listeners. I'm going to dig into a bit of the why of why I'm even doing this in the first place and I'm also going to be talking about the various topics that I'm going to be going over in the episodes as well as the delivery of how I'm going to be delivering that information in a way that for each and every episode, you can take away actionable items in your life to begin to create real sustainable change with each and every episode. All this information is really the culmination of the past decade of my life that I've been deep into and dedicated to the world of personal development. This information comes from countless hours of listening to podcasts, countless books that I've read, masterminds, webinars, Zoom classes, group coaching, one-on-one coaching, and ultimately the implementation of all of these lessons and learnings into my own life. And it's through the implementation that I've really learned the most. I've learned so much about what to do. I've learned a lot about what not to do. And I've spent a lot of time reflecting and really looking back upon this journey and really the things that have made the biggest impact in my life. And this work has really impacted my life in a huge way. Who I am today is not who I was a couple of years ago, not who I was five years ago, and certainly not who I was 10 years ago in the best kind of ways. It's completely shifted my understanding of who I am, what I want, what success looks like for me, my potential, how my mindset affects me and my life, my self-talk, all these different things. I, it just raised such an awareness around and completely shifted everything. And it's, it's really my idea and my vision to share this information, share these learnings that I've learned a lot of times the hard way so that you can take th- the things that I experienced through my struggle, through my challenge, and make it through the things that are going on in your life. And one of the keys to the way that I share information and I see the process of teaching is that I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here to try to convince you of anything or convince you I'm right or what's best. Because at the end of the day, every person knows what's best for them. And every person is different. We have different personalities. We have different life circumstances. We have different situations going on. So at the end of the day, I'm just here to share things that I've learned that have worked in my life. I'm here to share things that haven't worked in my life. I'm here to share things that I'm learning through some of the top performers in the world that have built lifestyles that are are abundant that are balanced, they have successful businesses that they enjoy, they have great relationships with their families and loved ones, and they really live this harmonious lifestyle. Because I've become obsessed of this question of, well, why? Why do people perform at such a high level? How can they have such a great work-life balance? How can they be so joyful? How are they not burnt out? What is it? And success leaves clues, and it leaves clues through these podcasts, through these books, through these people sharing this information. And again, at the end of the day, it's for us to take this information in, sit with it, see if it's impactful for us, see if it resonates. And if if we feel like it's something that can be effective in our life, then we begin to implement it. And then we evaluate. Is it being effective? And if it is, we continue to utilize it. If not, then we leave it to the side. And this goes for anything I'm going to share in any episode. I want you to hear the things that I'm saying. I want you to sit with it. I want you to see what you think about it. And if you think it could make a positive impact, then try it out. Try it on for yourself. See how it works. And then evaluate it. And if it's not something that's working and it's not being effective, then leave it to the side. Try the next thing. And these are the two boxes I really like to put everything in. Is this effective in my life or is this not effective? 
And notice I don't like to use the words good or bad because I feel like there's a little bit of baggage that goes with the words good and bad, especially the word bad. So I like to just say effective and non-effective. No judgment. There's nothing wrong with it. But this thing in my life isn't effective right now. And if it's not effective, then I need to replace it with something that can be more effective and ultimately take me to the version of myself that I'm looking to go to. And really, that's what this podcast is all about. It's about evolving into the higher quality, more highly optimized, highly balanced version of ourselves that we see ourselves becoming. And I'm going to be talking about this more deeply in the episodes for sure. But this isn't from a place of not loving where we are now, not appreciating where we are now. As a matter of fact, one of the most important things is loving where we are in this moment, appreciating where we are while also understanding we're on this continual path of evolution towards this bigger and better version of ourselves. So this is, this is a continual thing. We're continuing to understand. We're continuing to optimize. We're continuing to systematize and understand what that version of ourselves looks like and what brings us joy and happiness because this process is ever changing. We're always changing. The world's always changing. Our situation's always changing. Everything around is always changing. So we're never going to just have a system and say, well, this is the system. This is my routine. This is what works for me because everything's always in a state of flux. So what works now may not work next week or next month or next year. So that's why this is a continual process that we're going through. Um, The process that I really see myself continuing to rotate in and circulate through is awareness, being aware. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Then evaluating that, so is this what I wanna be doing? Is this effective or not effective? And then from that place, we can then now take action. This isn't effective. I'm going to implement this thing that may be more effective. Then after the action, what? Well, guess what? We go back to evaluation. We evaluate how that action was. If it's good, we lean in heavier to it. If it's not being effective, then we change that course of action and we reevaluate. And this is the continual cycle I have found myself in. And not in a bad way, it's great. I get to continue to refine and continue to optimize and continue to see ways in which I can perform better, show up better for my family and friends, show up better for myself. And uh, it's just it's just beautiful, never ending process that we can continue to evolve into. And like we said before, continue to involve that version of ourselves that we see ourselves being off in that distant future. And there's a bunch of different topics that I'm gonna be going over to really hone in on this process of optimizing, of of creating this balance, creating this harmony. Uh, One of the things that I'm really passionate about is the science behind it, a bit of the mechanics behind some of the more conceptual things I'm gonna be talking about. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing in some of the science of understanding our neurology, how our brain works, the chemicals in our brain, how we can affect that our biology, how our body reacts, why it reacts to certain things, the levers that we can pull to affect our body in positive ways or the things that we may be pulling that are affecting our body in not effective ways. And really, this whole process is an ecosystem. Our whole life is our ecosystem. We can't compartmentalize the various things because one thing will always affect the other thing. Our emotions can affect our health. Our health can affect our emotions. What we eat can affect our, our brain. So all of this plays a role into it. So definitely going to be diving into nutrition, how nutrition plays a role, how food could be our medicine, how food can be our fuel for our brain health, for our regular health, for our energy. So definitely going to be diving into a bit, not too deeply, but I'm definitely going to be getting into the science so we can understand that this is this is tangible things. This is real change that we're affecting on a biological level. And the science is there to really back this up, to really, um, really drive home the understandings that what we're doing is affecting real change in our lives. So beyond the science, we have, you know, we go into the more conceptual things, the more of the things that you may have heard in the the world of personal development as far as mindset, self-talk, setting goals, habits, what habits are, how to set them, how they work for us, how we can how we can begin to shift them into our favor. So there's a lot of topics, the subconscious mind. You know, I'm going to be diving into all of these conceptual things, all of these different lenses and we in ways in which we can really perceive reality, perceive what's going on through us, and this is really at the at the core and at the meat of all of the things that I'm really going to be covering going into and the things that have made the biggest impact in my life. Mindset is everything, and I've definitely learned that. Before I started this work, um, you know, when I was really struggling heavily in life, I, I really had hit a low point, 
and I was putting no mind into mindset and my external world was reflecting my internal world. A lot of, ne- a lot of negativity, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. And my reality always reflected that. And it wasn't until I really turned that mirror inwards and began to look inside was when my external world began to change. So these are the topics I'm really going to be getting into and I'm going to be honing in really deep on because this is where the massive shifts happened. It's in the little things. It's in the self-talk. It's in the way that we view the world. It's in our belief systems, how we choose to believe what, the, what reality is to us. Because what we believe writes the subconscious programming for how our mind is going to bring the world to us. So if we see the world as a dangerous place, if we see the, the world as a place that's out to get us, well, the world's going to bring us situations that are going to affirm that belief system. If we see the world as a place of opportunity, as a place of growth, as a place to expand, to learn, to bring heaven on earth, well, then that's the experience that's going to come in. Not to say that we don't go through challenge and hardship and there's not going to be struggles that come up. It's part of the journey. It's part of the growth. But we're able to reorient our relationship to what challenge means, to what difficulty means, to what the things in our life that we perceived as bad. We can rewrite what that means to us. We can look at the lesson and not the the actual event that happened. And when we can focus on the lesson, we can have the growth. But when we get stuck in what's happening to us, we can get stuck in that victim mentality, then we're just spinning our tires. And all this information goes out the window because we could have a thousand horsepower in a car, but if we're sitting in a mud pit, then we're just going to spin our tires and not go anywhere. And really at the core of this is the belief, the belief that we can change, the belief that all these things are possible, the belief that there's no nothing that we can't achieve, that our potential is limited, lim- limited limitless. Because at the end of the day, Everyone has the same limitless potential. We all have the same spark within. We all have different starting points. We all have different challenges. We all have different circumstances we're born into sometimes, but we all have the same potential for what we're able to achieve in this world. And there's no impossible except the limitations that we place upon ourselves inside of our minds. So these are really the, uh, the topics and the, the concepts bit of the science of what I'm going to be going over. It's going to be a broad range. And on top of that, I'm always going to be delivering it with ways to implement, implementation. Because at the end of the day, the tools without implementation just as ex- exist as tools. So if you have a hammer and a screw and you try to hammer a screw into a wall, you try to put a TV up with a screw, your TV is going to fall down. So the same thing, we have all these tools that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about meditation, yoga, breath work, cold plunging, mindset, all these different tools. But at the end of the day, if we don't know how to implement them in the right way, in a sustainable way that works for us, then we're not going to find, we're going to find ourselves back in that mud, spinning our tires. So a big part of this is going to be about the implementation of the things that we're learning. This is a very important piece something that, again, I struggled with in my own journey of, uh, you know, trying to put these things on, trying to be hyper-disciplined or hyper not disciplined and going through all these paths and not understanding these nuances of implementation. So I'm really going to be talking about the, the different things that I've learned along the way, how things led me to burnout, how some things just didn't move the needle forward and it kept me in a perpetual loop of not taking the right action because we can take a lot of action just because we're taking action doesn't mean it's actually moving the needle forward. So we're going to dive into what that means, what could that look like, what limiting beliefs look like and how they can hold this up through our actions and uh so yeah this is the implementation is such a big piece of it so that's why in each episode we're going to be covering topics we're going to be talking about tools we're going to be talking about implementation of those tools and it's my my aim to have shorter episodes 20 to 25 minutes to really get really be concise on a point really get one topic really go into it nice and thoroughly but not not be overextended and be able to be in a really palatable and short format so they could be quick hits that you can really begin to take some action on and really move forward in your life. And, you know, moving on from, you know, the topics and kind of this vision that I have for the podcast, I want to talk a bit about the why of why I'm doing this in the first place. And I already said that this work has changed my life and it truly has. The person that I am today, 
the way that I go about my day, the way that I plan my life in an intentional way has completely shifted everything. And the fact is, is that there was a point in my life where I didn't want to wake up in the morning. I dreaded going to bed. I would struggle going to bed because I was that much not looking forward to waking up in the morning. I was upset. I was an alcoholic. I used drugs to find happiness and I was completely lost. I was looking outside of myself for all the things that I thought I wanted and I didn't even know it. I didn't even have awareness of it. I I was spiraling out of control, but the awareness just wasn't there. I didn't even know what the word personal development was. I know who Tony Robbins won. I didn't know this world existed. And then I had, for me, I had a psychedelic experience that blew my doors of awareness open. I had this one experience that kind of just opened my eyes to how I was living, the things that I was doing, and it didn't change everything in that moment. That really just started all the work that I had to do. But that really got me into this world of through podcasts. I got into the world of personal development. And that's really what sparked that journey. And then it's been on me ever since. You know, I always say about psychedelics, they open the door, but you got to walk through them. They open my door. They open the door of of awareness in me. And then I walked through that door and was able to change my life. And I sit here today excited to wake up in the morning, excited to share my voice, excited to step into my passion, excited to work with my clients, excited for life. And years ago, that wasn't the case. Years ago, I did not want to be on this earth. I wanted to die early. I was miserable at work. I had a horrific work-life balance. And I lived for the weekends. And I drank to, again, find that happiness that I didn't know existed within me. So I looked for it everywhere but there. And really, before that in life, I just always was who I thought the world wanted me to be. I never really felt accepted who I was. I didn't even know who I was. So I just looked at other people and I emulated to fit in, to feel loved, to feel accepted, something so many of us fall into. So this life of being kind of like a pinball in a machine, right? I just was going around from group to group and I was just trying these different things on and trying to aim for acceptance because at the end of the day, I just want to be accepted and be one of one of the crew, one of the people. And, uh, And that led to a lot of heartbreak. It led to a lot of exhaustion. It led to me not understanding who I was. And again, ultimately, it hit this breaking point. After I got out of the military, I had my construction company and the company was doing well, but I was working like 80 plus hours a week. I was just miserable. I was short with my emotions. I was not aware of the amount of toxicity I had and the way I was treating the people around me. It really was this perfect storm. And since then, these things that I've learned and implemented have turned me into a person I'm proud of being. I'm proud of how I show up. I'm proud of the awareness that I have of my actions, of how I interact with the world, of what I bring to the world. I'm not perfect. I have my moments. I know I still have work to do, but I'm also very proud of the work that I've done, how far I've come. And this is, this is my why. I didn't have a mentor back then. I didn't have anything, but this new awareness, and some podcasts and books. And my partner at the time who completely supported me throughout this journey and allowed me the space to grow into the person that I ended up becoming. And this is really why I have such a passion for producing content, making books, doing this podcast. Because if I can make help make that shift, if I can make that one mindset shift or share that one understanding that can help someone wake up happier, have a more joyous life, find more freedom, find more just purpose and joy in life. That's it. I just want to affect the world one person at a time. And since that, I've just become to realize everything I've been through, every trauma, every every dark thought, every suicidal thought, everything that I've been through that was a challenge has led me up to this day. This is my purpose. All the things I've been through, all the challenge, all the the crap, I would say, it's all for purpose. And I'm grateful for every single one of it. All the things that shouldn't have happened to me but did, it's okay. And it should have happened because it was meant to. And I wouldn't be the person I am today without every single thing that happened to me along the journey. So this is, this is my why. It's deep. This is why I coach. This is why I mentor. This is why I absolutely love to be vulnerable and share all the things that have happened to me in my life. Because I wish I had that. I wish I had that mentor. I wish I had that person to be like, hey, this might help you. (laughs) But I figured that out a lot on my own. And then later on the journey, the support came in because I found out who I was. I started to vibrate on a different level. We'll talk about vibration and energy and really 
pulling in the people and circumstances and events in our life um, in a more magnetic way. We'll talk about magnetic mindset, um, something I really more recently came into deeper understandings of. But yeah, back then I was in this very low energetic in myself state and, uh, and I had to figure this stuff out. And I put a lot of effort into doing it. And I really believe it was all so that I could share this in an impactful way, in a fun way, hopefully in a way that you guys enjoy. And uh, and really, again, just to make an impact in the world. That's why I do this. That's why I'm going to show up each and every week. I'm not just sharing this because I think this is something or I just read it and it, it, it just seemed like something good to share. No, this is Everything that I'm going to share and talk about is deep from my heart. I believe it to be true. I've tried to implement it or I know someone that it's working for. All this information is real. And it's not about people, again, when we talk about this high performing, high quality, I'm not talking about people burning themselves out. I'm not talking about people looking to get rich or people that are just focused on money. This aren't the people or people born into money. This isn't the people I focus on. And that's not really where I'm gaining these resources from. Again, this is people living high-performing lifestyles, highly optimized lifestyles. So again, highly optimized, we're just talking about being effective, good work-life balance, loving what they do, having passion in life, not feeling burnt out, having financial success, being able to vacation, just all the things that we're destined to do, we're, we're, we're meant to have and bring heaven on earth here. This earth can either be heaven or hell. And it takes intentionality to really create that life. And like I said before, success leaves clues. And I'm continuing to read these clues, to refine these clues, to follow these clues, and continue to share them throughout these podcasts, throughout these episodes, and throughout everything that I do in life. There's no greater passion that I have. And I'm just so excited you're going to be taking this journey with me. Uh, Thank you for tuning into this first episode. It really means a lot to me. Um, every, every single viewer, every count means the world to me. So if you have any questions, if you have any ideas for any podcast you'd like to hear, any topics you'd like to cover in specifics, you can find me on Instagram at the positive veteran. You can email me the positive veteran at gmail.com. My website, positive veteran coaching.com, all these different areas and platforms. You can find me, you can reach me at, if we're not, you, we don't connect, I haven't connected on Instagram. I'm posting content every day on there, again, all with the purpose of uplifting, supporting, motivating, inspiring you to create positive impacts, create positive shifts in your life, have better relationships, have a better relationship with yourself, with your work, and really create this vision of where you wish to be going. I love this process. (laughs) I love this this never-ending journey of evolution that's continually ongoing. And I'm excited for you to take this journey with me. I really am. And I'm going to be dropping episodes every week. So be on the lookout. There's also going to be a lot of content going around it. Workshops, webinars. So again, anything specifically you'd like to hear, you'd like to see, drop me a line. Definitely happy to expand upon it. And we'll see you throughout the various episodes. And I'm excited to see you all in episode two. Not sure yet what I'm going to be diving into. I have a bunch of them on the on deck circle of what I'm going to be talking about. So we'll see what comes up and uh, I'll definitely be releasing these uh, announcements through social media. So stay tuned, get on the waiting list or the uh, the email list and be the first ones to find out. All right, y'all see you in episode two.